Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with part 2 of how to beautify your Android, the home screen. So let's get started. Okay, so I just want to preface this by saying that this is going to be based off of my my home screen. Uh, if you don't like a certain setting, of course you don't have to apply it, but this is just going to be based off of what I have here set up. What you're going to need is hollow minimal uh, icons. Uh, there'll be a link for everything down below. You're going to need two uzips uh, for UCCW, uh, Nova Launcher, or a launcher that will allow you to hide the notification shade up here, uh, and then this wallpaper if you want it. And everything that you saw in the lock screen as well as the home screen will be down below. So don't worry if you didn't catch something that I said. Uh, first off, we'll go ahead and just the wallpaper, really simple. Just go ahead and basically long press. After you've downloaded the wallpaper, go to wallpapers and select it. Uh, or you can go into the gallery, uh, whichever way you prefer. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the settings of Nova that I have set up here. Going into Nova settings. For the desktop, I have the grid set up to 5x4. I have the width margin at large and the height margin at medium. The persistent search bar is of course turned off. I don't have show shadows. Home screens, that's not too important, but I only have two set up. Uh, I have resize all widgets, basically there you go, you can go ahead and see that. Dock, of course, I have enabled it because you saw some icons there. Uh, I have the enabled dock, um, that's pretty much it. I only have one page, but again, that part's not super important since you can always just swipe between pages. Um, for folders, I don't have anything there. Look and feel, I believe. Uh, I have Knox, and everything there is pretty much uh, the same, except for show notification bar. This is the important one, where it'll go ahead and hide this notification bar up here, uh, which is uh, crucial to my theme. Then for gestures and buttons, uh, now this part is only available if you have purchased Nova Prime. So if you can find a launcher that will give you the same functionality without needing to pay for it, you can also use that. But the settings, of course, are going to change a little bit. In the gestures and buttons, I have swipe up to get to my quick settings, swipe down to expand my notifications, and then double tap to expand my notifications. And that's going to go ahead and round it out for uh, the Nova settings. Now, to apply these icons down here, when you download that icon pack, uh, it does say in the description not to just go ahead and apply it. Basically, all you're going to do is just drag whatever icon you want down there. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and go to edit and click that icon and then pick the icon that you want it to, uh, to have. Now there's not a ton of options here, but basically it just gives you most of the essentials and everything I need is here, so it's not a big deal for me. I would just go ahead, for example, uh, Hangouts, and find the icon, uh, icon for Hangouts, hit the check bar, and you can see the icon is there now. That's what I've gone ahead and done for the, for the Dock, Google+, and Hangouts. So that covers the wallpaper, Nova settings, and uh, icons. Let's go ahead and take care of the UCCW uh, stuff now. Go over to widgets, and of course you're going to go ahead and download those uh, UZIPs that I've created for you guys down below. Uh, now those aren't my creations. I don't remember who created those, but those are something that I went ahead and uh, altered. I altered uh, a UZIP that I found online to make it to my liking. Uh, so if we go to 4x1, you just go place it and create. And you may or may not be brought to the screen, but basically you want to go to UZIP, and you're going to be presented with all your folders. Now go to download, and in download, this is where you're going to find the, the, the two that you downloaded. For the 4x1, you're going to select custom search widget.uzip, just like that. It's going to import the skin, and that's pretty much it. You have your widget right there, and then you just go ahead and put the, uh, the uh, right where the dock divider would be, which, by the way, in Nova settings, I don't have a dock divider because my search bar is that. Now I'm not going to go ahead and press Google it because that will bring up Google now and that has some sensitive information but you can see the search functionality just perform does perform just fine. Now I'll go ahead and just get rid of that since I don't need it. Now for the date, all you're going to do is basically the same thing but I'll run through it real quick. You go to UCCW 4x2 this time, place it on your home screen, go to create, uh, select new, um, which you can select new I believe or, or use it, whichever one you'd like. Uh, open, open UZIP, and again, navigate to your downloads and go to Custom Air Elegant, which is the uh, one that I've supplied for you guys. Everything's ready to go. The hotspots, I believe, are also checked. Uh, yes, they are. You can go ahead and do what I just did there to make sure. Then you can press back, and yeah, we'll close the app, I believe. And there you go. Opening this, 
will open timely. I believe if you don't have timely, I'm not sure what's going to happen, uh, but that's uh, fine. You can go ahead and customize the uh, the hotspots that you have there if you'd like. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. And that's basically how to set up my home screen or how I have my home screen set up. As you can see here, if I swipe down, I have my notifications. Swiping up will bring me to my quick toggles and double tapping will also get me to my notifications if I don't want to swipe down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down there for more. Uh, there will be a one, there will be one last uh, part to this series which is basically the exterior and uh, stay tuned for that plus I'll be having a giveaway so be sure to subscribe if you aren't already I'll catch you in the next one peace